Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to All Saints on this fourth Sunday of Advent. We are so glad you are here. We are poised on the brink of Christmas, but we are not at Christmas yet. If you'd like to stay after the service and help us turn the church into Christmas, we have a lot of work to get done before this afternoon. Um, and because December 24th is both the fourth Sunday of Advent and Christmas Eve, this morning we're doing a service of lessons and carols uh, so that the choir can rest and, and get stored up for their event, big event this evening. So you all are the choir this morning, so we will be singing Advent carols, and I encourage you to sing along. Um, your voices are what will make it work this morning. Um, if you're visiting with us, please don't be confused by the leaflet you received. The outer part is the announcement section, and you can set that aside. Inside is the service leaflet. It has all the readings for lessons and carols in the uh, lessons and carols insert. And uh, all the service music is in here, and we will just need hymnals for the hymns. And today we're using the 1982 hymnal and the Green Wonder Love and Praise hymnal, and those are found in the pew racks in front of you or under your chairs. When it comes time for communion, everyone is welcome to receive communion here. Instructions on how to do that are found in the leaflet at that part of the service. And before we continue, I just want to say the third through fifth grade class has made this beautiful Advent wreath for us to have in our worship this morning. So as you come forward for communion, please take a minute and admire their wonderful and beautiful hard work that they did. And so before we continue, let's take a deep breath and a moment of silence and let whatever hustle and bustle and holiday anxiety is pressing upon you leave the space and know yourself to be in the presence of God who is within us and all around us. And we begin with a bidding prayer. Dear people of God, in the season of Advent, it is our responsibility and joy to prepare ourselves to hear once more the message of the angels, to go to Bethlehem and see the Son of God lying in a manger. Let us hear and heed in Holy Scripture the story of God's loving purpose in working the glorious redemption brought to us by his holy child Jesus. And let us look forward to the yearly remembrance of his birth with hymns and songs of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of his whole world, for peace and justice on earth, for the unity and mission of the church for which he died, and especially for his church in our country and in this city. And because he particularly loves them, let us remember in his name the poor and helpless, the cold, the hungry and the oppressed, the sick and those who mourn, the lonely and unloved, the aged and little children, as well as all those who do not know and love the Lord Jesus Christ. And we particularly remember this morning those on our prayer list, Howard Anderson, Paula Batch, Lynn Blocky, Gus Bryman, Joe Hartwell, Tamara Hicks-Siren, Catherine Hornbach, Ted Jensen, Dorothy Lachey, Marty Lippard, Emily Lynch, Barbara Mayers Martello, Folu Ogundimu, Dixie Lee Primer, Kevin Reagan, Karen Rich, Gordon Roman, Rosemary Severance, Barbara Sheberg, Senia Taipale, and Jean Tippett. Finally, let us remember before God his pure and lowly mother and that whole multitude which no one can number whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom in Jesus we are one forevermore. And now may the Almighty God bless us with his grace. Christ give us the joys of everlasting life. And to the fellowship of the citizens above, may the King of angels bring us all. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. 
Comfort, O oh, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, Cry out. And I say, What shall I cry? All the people are grass. Their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades. When the breath of the Lord blows upon it, surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. See, the Lord God comes with might and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd he will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom and gently lead the mother sheep. The word of the Lord. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus, it will blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. 
Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of fearful heart, be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance and with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool and the thirsty ground springs of water. The haunt of jackals shall become a swamp. The grass shall become reeds and rushes. A highway shall be there, and it shall be called the holy way. The unclean shall not travel on it, but it shall be for God's people. No traveler, not even fools, shall go astray. No lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beast come upon it. They shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. The word of the Lord. from the prophet Baruch. Look toward the east, O Jerusalem, and see the joy that is coming to you from God. Look, your children are coming, whom you sent away. They are coming, gathered from east and west at the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of God. Take off the garment of your sorrow, and affliction, O Jerusalem, and put on forever the beauty of the glory from God. Put on the robe of the righteousness 
that comes from God. Put on your head the diadem of the glory of the everlasting. For God will show your splendor everywhere under heaven. For God will give you evermore the name righteous peace, godly glory. Arise, O Jerusalem, stand upon the height, look toward the east, and see your children gathered from west and east at the word of the Holy One, rejoicing that God has remembered them. For they went out from you on foot, led away by their enemies, but God will bring them back to you, carried in glory as on a royal throne. For God has ordered that every high mountain and the everlasting hills be made low and the valleys filled up to make level ground so that Israel may walk safely in the glory of God. The woods and every fragrant tree have shaded Israel at God's command. For God will lead Israel with joy in the light of his glory, with the mercy and righteousness that come from him. The word of our Lord. from the prophet Micah. But you, O Bethlehem of Rephtaphtah, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, 
For now he shall be great to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. The fourth lesson, excuse me, the fifth lesson, a reading from the prophet Isaiah. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear. But with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall gaze, their young shall lie down together, and the, sh- and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and we will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now... Your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The word of the Lord. Another, the peace of the Lord be always with you.
Good morning. Good morning. My name is Jason Tippett, and I'm the vestry person of the day. Uh, the vestry is the governing body of the church. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me or any of the vestry members, and we'll do our best to answer your questions. If you're a newcomer with us today, let me say welcome and thanks for being here. There's a newcomer and welcome card in the pew rack in front of you. If you want to fill that out and put it in the offering plate, that is the only offering we ask of you today, and we'll send you some information about our church, and thank you for being here. Uh, there is no coffee hour after service today. <clears throat> the greeting of the church is today, after the ten, after this morning's service, and there will be a light lunch served after the greeting of the church. Uh, there's a pilgrimage to Thistle Farms. Pastor Kit and Jody Flanders will lead an All Saints pilgrimage to Thistle Farms. The ministry that Becca Stevens began to heal, empower, and employ women, women survivors of sex trafficking, prostitution, and abuse. The trip to Nashville will run from May 5th to 6th, May 5th or 6th to May 9th. Four spaces remain for this trip. If you are interested, please contact Pastor Kit by January 6th. There's a family fun night. Take a break from the winter break with the winter from the winter break and spend some time with other All Saints families on Wednesday, January 3rd from 5 to 7 in the Undercroft. We will chip in to order pizza and have games, crafts, and movies. Uh, please RSVP to Becky Beauregard. Uh, whose information is in the bulletin. And the last announcement is the 2017 Christmas worship schedule can be found on the, on the back of the announcement sheet. Please note that there will only be one service next Sunday, uh, December 31st, and will be at 10 a.m. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Yes, everybody is welcome to stay after and help us make the church wonderful and have a light lunch. Um, also, there are now only three spaces left for the Thistle Farms trip, so if you're interested in going um, and need to work some stuff out, please be in touch with me as soon as you can. Um, other announcements are in your leaflet. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself as an offering and a sacrifice to God.
you continue with the Eucharistic prayer as it is printed in your leaflet. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, because you sent your beloved Son to redeem us from sin and death and to make us heirs in him of everlasting life, that when he shall come again in power and great triumph to judge the world, we may without shame or fear rejoice to behold his appearing. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory, and we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country, where with the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Joseph, and all your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore let us keep the feast. Alleluia. of God for you the people of God receive who you are become what you see the body and blood of Christ
The post-communion prayer is found on the last panel of your leaflet. Together, let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Heavenly Father, Father, you you have have graciously graciously accepted us as living members of of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world of peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Life is short, and we do not have too much time to gladden the hearts of those who travel the way with us. So be swift to love and make haste to be kind. And may the blessing of the one who made us and who loves us and walks the way with us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be upon you and those you love dearly this day and always. Amen.